1963, a small town surrounded by corn. Every Halloween, a pumpkin-headed monster nicknamed Sawtooth Jack emerges from the fields and walks toward the town church. If he reaches it before midnight, the residents are in for an unbelievable disaster, so every year a horde of local boys gather to try to stop him. Whoever succeeds will pull their family out of poverty, as well as get a brand new car and a chance to leave this god-forsaken town for good. Last year, the town was saved by Richie Shepard's older brother Jim, and even though the rules prohibit Richie from participating this year, he is determined to stop Sawtooth Jack and prove to everyone that he is as good as his brother at anything. Many music video makers sooner or later try to move into feature films, and many of them find themselves in horror, a genre where the talent to create memorable, vivid images and tell a story through them is essential. Director David Slade started out with music videos by Tori Amos, Muse, Stone Temple Pilots, System of a Down and Aphex Twin before making his big screen debut with the unusual thriller Hard Candy about the psychological confrontation between a teenage girl and a would-be pedophile rapist. The movie was well received with praise, as well as the second directorial project by Slade, stylish Arctic horror 30 Days of Night about the attack of vampires on the polar town. But then something went wrong. Slade made the third movie in the series Twilight and switched to work in television, where he shot as a director individual episodes of such series as Breaking Bad, Hannibal, American Gods and Black Mirror. Dark Harvest is his first feature film since Twilight Eclipse, but in structure, it's a short film that exists for the sake of a single plot twist, easily calculated in the first 20 minutes of the movie. What it was about this story that caught Slade's interest as a filmmaker? Apparently, the rich visual imagery of the story. The 60s, Halloween, cornfields, the American countryside, an army of militant teenagers, masks, monsters, very graphic violence at times it all looks like a horror comic book come to life. However, the picture is not everything even in such a genre as horror, and Slade and his screenwriters are not very good at stretching three sentences of the plot into an hour and a half of screen time. Periodically, the movie begins to drag, and the closer the climax, the more active the gravel and sand fly from under the tugging wheels of the plot. The film is based on Norman Partridge's novel of the same name, which, by the way, won a couple of genre awards, but it was significantly and, alas, poorly revised for the film adaptation, so almost all the innovations don't work. Particularly striking in this regard is the storyline with a black girl named Kelly, who was absent from the book. The authors push her to the forefront of the plot, but she has nothing to do here, and it looks like a real sabotage of the inclusive policy of modern Hollywood. In general, Slade is great with visuals, but he fails to connect the viewer to his flat, stereotypical characters, which is another reason why the movie eventually becomes tiresome and disappointing. Dark Harvest was finished back in 2021 and was originally supposed to be released in September of that year, but the COVID pandemic forced the distributors to postpone the premiere by a year. But something didn't work out with the theatrical release in 2022 either, so the movie eventually went to online streaming year later. Every year in October before Halloween distributors release a lot of passable horror movies, and in general Dark Harvest is not the worst way to spend a fall evening, but from a visionary like David Slade, you still expect more.